Do you need to reapply thermal paste on your GPU uh, core for cooling? If you don't know how to do it, I can guide, guide you through it. Stay tuned. Hey, 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 everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Um, today we're gonna be uh, reapplying uh, thermal paste on thermal paste on the GPU core on the uh, MSI RX 470s 4 gigabyte card. And um, uh, I will be doing this because my uh, uh, fan switch was broken off uh, from the board and uh, I put it back on, you know, and I was I opened the GPU, and when I turned it on, it uh, was uh, uh, heating a lot. The core was heating a lot, so uh, I uh, I need to reapply the thermal paste on the GPU uh, cooling. So, yeah, for this uh, video tutorial, we will need some uh, thermal paste. Uh, we will need the, uh, we will be using the uh, nail polish uh, to uh, clean up your old uh, thermal paste and uh, some screwdriver. So yeah, I will zoom into the GPU now and uh, show what you do. Uh, you will need to open these uh, four screws. So we're using a, a PC screwdriver. And we remove these screws. There's four of them. Okay, the screws are removed. Now there is uh, some wires connected to your board. You need to disconnect them. Just be very gentle with them because they uh, break very easy. And. Uh, So one wire on the top and there is another two on the bottom. Okay, another one is off, and this 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 is the one which was broken. So I need to be very gentle with it to not break it again. Yeah, so it's off. And as as you can see, there is thermal paste on it, but it's all dried up. So. We need to clean this out and uh, we'll be using these here things, I don't know what you call them. I think in the last three of the 
when it was applied I think it's too much you know you can see it goes over the edges so that's not good at all You need to clean very uh, clean to be it very clean because there will be some thermal paste left on your uh, CPU, GPU core then uh, it will uh, uh, be heating more when it is running so that's why you need to clean it with uh, some alcohol or like I'm using the, the nail uh, what's that nail polish remover and I'm using also a cotton towel to dry it all up So this side looks very clean. Okay, I have uh, got off nearly all thermal paste. We'll just do the edges here as well. Put the screwdriver. Looks like this is the radiator is not holding properly. Okay, there's a few techniques how to put on uh, thermal paste on your CPU core. Um, they uh, all work pretty similar, you know, they, but uh, the only thing is uh, not to put too little thermal paste or too much on the CPU core. Then it will affect your um, uh, GPU temperatures. So we will be putting A line there's like few techniques dot then is there circle there uh, a small line okay that should be enough now you want to just put back on your uh, fans and the uh, radi cooling radiator on your GPU back to the same way it was
Okay, that's on. And then just put back the screws. Don't de do this if you have the uh, uh, warranty on the card. Because if you open the card, um, it, it will automatically lose uh, your warranty. I'm doing this because uh, my uh, wires were broken off from the uh, um, from the plate, and uh, warranty doesn't cover that. Warranty doesn't cover if the card is overheated and. Uh, if there is a physical damage on it so that's why I'm doing this myself but if you have a warranty on it just send it back you know and if you have some issues this video is for those who uh, wants to put the uh, thermal paste on the CPU core GPU core okay that's all done just we need to put back the the sockets same way, way they were all three of them So yes, uh, if you have a situation similar to mine, this is how you replace thermal paste on your GPU core for better cooling on an MSI RX 470 4GB card. If you have other GPUs, it will be similar, you know, just uh, maybe the, the screws in different places and uh, some uh, different wires to disconnect from the uh, 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 GPU board. And uh, the best thermal paste to use is IC Diamond. And I didn't have that available, so I used this Z chass, uh, which is Chinese. It should do the job, but will keep maybe three, four degrees higher, but should be okay. And uh, I hope you get value from the from this video, and uh, I hope this helped. If you need to replace the thermal paste and you don't know how to do it, and uh, Subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos, thumbs up if you like this video, if you have any questions comment down below and see you on the next video. And you can subscribe my channel here.